In the last video I talked about circuits, how we have to connect these components one side to one side of the battery and then the other side to the other side of the battery to make a complete circuit. Now for this video I'm going to talk about one of the ways we connect them. So this is a breadboard. As you can see I just inserted the components and they connect to each other to complete the circuit. To begin with we have the red wire that comes out of the battery to the breadboard. So this connects to the positive terminal of the battery. Now anywhere along this far row here where you see a red line you can connect the wire and that's just like connecting directly to the positive part of the battery, the positive terminal. And now zooming in you can see I have a little wire here called a jumper and you can use longer flexible wire too, doesn't matter but it goes into positive and then it comes to this row here which you can see that it shares with the resistor. So everything and each one of these rows is connected. You know, these five are connected, the five above them are connected to each other, the five below them are each connected to each other. So these only go five across, and then there's a space in the middle. So this space is jumped by the resistor, which connects to the long lead of the LED. This needs to be inserted the proper way. I'll go over that in another video. And then that jumps down to this row. As I said, this row is separate from that row. And then so the short lead of the LED down here is connected to this jumper which goes to that row that the negative terminal is attached to. We often call this ground. So that's really all there is to breadboards. And the nice thing about breadboards is you can just pop a component out and then just pop it right back in. Sometimes they're a little finicky but uh, they usually will go back in. And you can just rearrange the circuit however you like, whenever you like. 